What's up, everyone? Coach Mitch, and we are going over the kettlebell swing. To get right to it, we want to set up with the kettlebell in a position where it can be directly under our shoulders when we hinge over. The reason why is because I'm going to hike it into my hips kind of like a football if I'm a center. So when I do this, I make sure I grip it, I bend my elbows, I kind of torque them in like I'm going to point them at my knee, and then I hike it into the hips. From there, I focus on catching at the hip and then thrusting it forward. Each time I thrust it forward, I want to focus on putting the energy in and pushing the bottom of the bell to where it wants to fly away from me. When it comes in, I want to catch it quickly. And in most cases, it'll look like if you pay attention, the kettlebell is going to smack me in the butt. So that's okay. If it does hit you in the butt, that's not going to hurt you. But you use that as a signal to know when to thrust it back forward again. And when we're doing this, we're trying to make sure we keep the glutes squeezed the entire time. So when we catch the kettlebell, the glutes are squeezed. When we thrust it, we squeeze them even harder. Repeating this isn't that hard. After you get into a good rhythm with it, it'll be easier and easier. In fact, this is great for sprinters. This is great for swimmers. This is great for pretty much any type of athlete, as long as you don't have any low back issues. I'll make another video touching on some fine points of this, but I hope you guys liked this one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe below, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.